When using ChatGPT, I've heard the sentiment from viewers and the community that, oh, these outputs are horrible. This is not what I was looking for. This is not going to work. I have to switch off ChatGPT, use a different platform, or just do traditional means when it comes to accessing information. What I can tell you right now is that no, it's not ChatGPT's fault. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> It's the fact that you don't know how to use custom instructions, but don't worry. The whole purpose of today's video is to set it up so we have perfect outputs when using ChatGPT. As this little box right here is one of the most powerful tools within ChatGPT, but no one seems to use it. So I'm gonna create a GPT today to help you create custom instructions for your specific use cases. Let's jump into today's video. I'm creating today's video because I have referenced custom instructions a ton in my past videos. I've made a video on this topic before, but in this one, I'm going to create a GBT that is specialized for helping you create your custom instructions. So whatever your profession may be, whatever your use case may be, we can start lasering in your chats more and getting you better outputs. As a real quick summarization of what this even does, basically this allows it. So when you go and chat with ChatGPT and you get like answers that seem like way off base or it's going down like a rabbit hole that just doesn't seem like what you originally asked. This gives it context of how to one respond and also to like stuff it should know before responding. So real quick example for me personally, I use this for coding. When I code, I tell it basically the languages, the directory, what, what I'm using Mac OS terminal, like contextual stuff that needs to be known so I can get better outputs. Let's go on and create a GBT today. Let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and just show you a little bit of me creating the GBT and the GBT phase so you can get more context. If you wanted to create your own GBT, how I kind of talk to it, what the purpose of this one is going to say, your purpose is to help create custom instructions for our G chat GBT chats. Ready? Let's name it custom instructions and enter. We're just going to say fine with the profile picture here. And I'm going to say yes. Here are the two major questions we need to answer. Semicolon, and then these are like the two main paragraph blocks that you saw earlier, which is gonna be, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And then finally, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And hit enter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to fine tune this a little bit more. I'm actually gonna give my personal custom instructions to kind of give it a direction of how to give the best kind of outputs. So I'll meet you there. Let's go ahead and see the first run of this GBT. I haven't tested it yet. This might come off really bad, but let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna say, I need custom instructions as a lawyer in California. Purpose of this is let's just laser in our chats. As you see, we're getting very specific questions we need to fill out so that our custom instructions are the best as possible. We got questions like, do you work in a specific geographic location within California or is your practice statewide? What tone do you prefer the response? Is there specific legal jar jargon or terminology you prefer to use or avoid. What I'm gonna do here though, is I'm gonna ask ChatGPT just to fill in the variables for me so you can see a final output. Go ahead and answer all these questions for me. Here we go, I'll make the assumptions for you based on your legal practices. So based off all that information that it answered for me, but in theory, of course, you would answer with your very specific details. It provided me with my custom instructions. We got what ChatGPT, sh ChatGPT should know, if I can speak relevant information, how chat GBT should respond. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and just copy this. I'm going to go to command C this command C. I'm going to come over to our account right here, click customize chat GBT. I'm going to paste in the first one. So we got our first part I'm going to hit save. Now we got our second part here. Command C paste. And there we go. So what's great about custom instructions is that we can turn them on and off. So for now, I'm going to say this is enabled for every new chat. And just so you can see what it kind of looks like, we're gonna go ahead and proceed and do a test question. So I'm gonna hit save here. To gut check this together, to make sure this isn't just a fresh new chat with no custom instructions, let's take note of some of the data that we found within this output. First thing we notice is that we're a family law attorney based in Los Angeles, California, that specializes in a divorce case. Okay, how should it respond? Let's see. In the response, it should offer draft outlines and templates for common legal documents related to family law. Let's start a fresh new chat here and see what happens. I'm in a new chat, custom instructions are enabled. I'm gonna jump over here. And let's gut check this. Okay. Uh, where do I work? Your work as a family law attorney based in Los Angeles, California, specializing in divorce cases, child custody, and prenuptial agreements. Right off the bat, it's already been lasered in and fine tuned for my specific use case. This is like leap. Imagine having to start every new chat and giving this much context. This is why this is so powerful, y'all. It knows exactly what I work, 
how I like my outputs. Therefore, every single time I use ChatGPT now, I'm gonna get very, very specific replies and it isn't gonna get me down these rabbit holes that all of a sudden is talking about law in Texas, which isn't relevant to me if I was a lawyer in California, or maybe it is depending on the, law, the case. Give me a draft of a, and then we're just gonna copy this and enter. This is what's so amazing about using custom instructions, y'all. Obviously I could add more information that is relevant to what I like to see in my outputs. Maybe there's a very specific case law I wanna reference. Even on top of that, you could go as far as asking you to use different features within ChatGPT, such as searching with Bing and everything of that nature. This is looking pretty good, y'all. That concludes today's video. You can go ahead and get this GPT in the description down below. The way you use this GPT is whatever your major use case is with ChatGPT, simply put in that message box down there. I am a website designer. I am a photographer based in San Francisco, California. I am a real estate agent in Miami, Florida. And then it'll ask you, those questions as we saw. And then from there, you're gonna get your custom instructions and you're gonna be able to leverage ChatGPT a lot faster. Enough with rabbit holes, enough with like, what are you even talking about? Give me lasered in, fine tune answers. And in today's video, you finally learned how we can start leveraging ChatGPT in a more effective manner. So make sure to leave a like, it's completely free. I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end here that talks about GPTs in a multitude of different contexts. So I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to right there. The first one is showing you how to use a GPT to create GPTs. So that might be interesting to you. That's a random video. That's my face. Something may or may not happen when you click it. But that just about does it, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.